So going back to where sequence stratigraphy is, in the end you were highlighting the thing that today, in 2015, the most important thing is that we have a critic mass that is large enough to bring up something new that we don't know yet. Yeah, I remember uh, there's, a, there's a, a great little restaurant in, in Banff that has, the, they had placemats with all these expressions on them. And there was one saying on that placement that I'll never forget, but uh, it said, there is nothing new except that which has been forgotten. And this is true for sequence stratigraphy as well. A lot of these concepts have been around for a long time, but I think that there were two things missing. One is as for why, why the community never embraced uh, these concepts before. One is there was no seismic data at the time. So the, so the, the, the definitive, clear imaging of the subsurface was simply not available. So it, 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 it was still, uh, to some degree, speculation. And, but to make a long story short, no critical mass had been achieved. And only with the advent of Memoir 26, that's when it all began. And, and very, uh, in the, in the three or four decades subsequent to that, it was, you know, these concepts were embraced first by industry, then by academia, and now we, have, we well and truly have a critical mass. But I think the, as I said earlier, I, I think what sequence stratigraphy may be waiting for, for the next big jump, is another form of data. We don't know the form, we don't know what we don't know. But I can guarantee something will come along that will cause, the, cause a quantum jump in our understanding. I don't know what that is. So where do you have to be in order to see that new technology arriving today? Um, I would suspect, uh, without, without uh, uh, if, I can, if I can speculate where that, where that jump will come, I think it will come from industry again. Because industry, you know, one of the things that I've always enjoyed is our access to data. And because so much money is at stake, anything that we can do to reduce uncertainty with respect to drilling in the subsurface uh, makes a lot of sense. And so, you know, with the advances in, in uh, geophysical acquisition and processing, with the advances in software, that start with industry, I think that's where the, the breakthroughs will come.